so I can't obviously relate to the Olympic scale of competitive swimming. Uh, but I know like when I have a big meet, like when we had provincials for universities in Ontario, like OUAs, I would remember like the week after was just like a super low period because it had been so high. What is the down period like after the Olympics? It's a very interesting time because, and this happens with a lot of people and you get kind of like the the blues. I don't know how else to describe it. I, and I, like, I've been working with, um, a mental performance consultant, like a sports psychologist for, since I was 14, the same one too. So it's been like, I've got a lot of good things under my belt to help me, um, mentally prepare for meets and games in life, but there's nothing that can really prepare you for the aftermath of an experience like that. And you're totally right. Like after a really big meet, especially when you do well coming off of that high is you get just kind of like deflated. Right. And that's, Mm -hmm. that's exactly what it felt like was, it was just, I just felt completely deflated, not immediately after, but once I started training again, it was just like, I just had no push and not, uh, not necessarily, not motivation because I felt like I was, I was like, I want to train and like, I want to swim and I want to feel good, but I definitely didn't. And it just felt like I, like, I swear I put air into this balloon and like, I, I feel like I should have energy to do things, but I just, I just didn't. And that lasted for, oh, I don't know, a few months at least. I would say maybe three or something like that, three or four. My sports psychologist and I, we worked we worked through that, and it's a very natural thing to come off of that. And I know lots of people who come off of the Olympics do feel that way. And so it was, it was just a process. You had to kind of work through it day by day and kind of just be super kind to yourself <laughs> yeah. and patient with yourself as a, as a lot of the cases and just – do the best that you could with what you had at the time. I I went on some travel trips to Asia for a world cup too. And that was, that was quite hard. Um, I'm glad that I did it because I got a really cool experience, but it was hard to race as well. And like, you know, athletes like you want to race and like test their skills. And especially after Rio went really well for me. And Mm -hmm. so there was no reason for me to feel not upset, but just kind of down. But I, definitely did so yeah you you just just really needed needed some time and needed some work and just lots of lots and lots and lots of patience it was it was frustrating I remember it being quite frustrating after a while it had been weeks and weeks and it was still still just the the same kind of you know taking a wet blanket and (laughs) placing it on top and you're just kind of hanging out yeah right 